Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Rex by NOLA Bags. NOLA, to me, is known for using unique, different materials. This Rex is no exception. These two materials, in fact, I've never seen the slow side material on any bag before. The fast side, I've only seen this on one of the bag, at least this side of the material. I think I know what material it is, and I've seen the other side of a few bags. This this side of it, I've only seen on one other bag. So let's go, ahead. let's go ahead and dive in, break this bag down. I'll do my best to explain these materials to you and how they play so that you, you, know, you can understand what this bag is about. Full side here, this is a herringbone hybrid material. I know, I hesitate to say herringbone because when we say herringbone, everybody thinks of that wizard followed X slow side. That's actually not a hybrid material. It's 100% polypropylene. It's 100% carpet material. It's not a hybrid. People call it a hybrid. This is a true hybrid. This is actually part polyester, part polypropylene material. I don't know the ratio of it, but it's got a herringbone pattern to it. So I, I, I'm going to call it a hybrid herringbone. We're get, I'm starting to see a lot of different herringbone materials that we're going to start figuring out a way to differentiate between between them. But right now, this is a unique material. I haven't seen it in any other bag. It is not the same as what you find on the Wizard. It, it actually plays a touch faster. To me, I think this plays about a six speed. Yeah, it, it played fast new, and I was I kept waiting for this material to really slow down. You know, that, that Wizard material, followed X slow side material, that's the material when, when you throw it, to me, it plays about a six brand new. And then it, as, as you get it dirty, rough it up, it slows down to that five, even down to a four speed in some conditions. This kind of hit that six speed and just stayed there. And I throw outdoors on concrete. I rough my bags up. I get them dirty. And this bag really held true to that six, which I was impressed with. It never really slowed down. And, and, and for, honestly, for the shot shaping and control you have this bag at a six speed, this is a great kind of combination of a fast bag that plays more like a slower bag. And I'll get more into playability. But anyway, slow side six speed. Fast side, this is, I, 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 when I first saw this bag, I kept looking at it and I, I, I was rocking around, like, like, I think I've seen that, but I couldn't figure out what it was. It, it kind of looked like and played a little bit like that Game Changer Surefire fast side material, but it wasn't. Like, it has a different pattern that I kept looking at going, it's, that's not quite what it is. And then the other day, it just hit me. The Gnarly Knockout I reviewed uh, not too long ago had a different fast side material. I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, this is the same material that Gnarly uses on the Knockout and the same side of the material. It's actually the back side of the 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 fast the, so the fast side of the B3 Ranger Fatal Coyote the fast side of the BG Witcher they all use the other side of this material I'm pretty sure that's what that is so this is that material flipped over I, I'm gonna call it about an eight speed it's between eight and nine I really haven't thrown this material enough to really dial the speed in when you get to those faster speeds eight nines tens they're they're plenty fast enough they're flying off the board they're pushing through anything there's not a big difference it's tough to really, to really dial in the speeds i think it's a touch slower than say that pro sniper fast side but it's right around that game changer surefire fast side so maybe it's even an eight and a half i don't know so let's call it eight and a half we'll go with that so six eight and a half on the speeds on this bag here uh, both materials are very hole friendly. Both materials play pretty well in humid conditions. So if you're looking for a humidity style bag, I think this Rex will work great for you. Template wise, this is a medium template bag. It's on the I would, I'd say medium to to fullness of the of the fill in there. You know, it's 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 it's, it's got some flop to it. It's not really floppy. I don't call it a medium, medium amount of fill. I think it's a, it's a medium fullness, medium thickness, medium amount of fill in here. The fill in here is a mixed fill, and I think it's the same fill that's in the snapper. You've got beads in here, and you've got some of that flat fill, that thick flat fill. I don't feel any flat discs in here at all. I think it's just those two. I don't, I don't know if the same ratio is what Nola uses in the snapper, but it, it feels like it kind of plays like that snapper fill. But it's definitely a mixed fill in here, which gives the bag some movement, which allows you to shape shots, you know, cuts, rolls, flops, stuff like that. And honestly, typically a bag that has that movement, has that balance, tends to punish you with the kick. This bag doesn't really have as much of a punishing kick as as bags with a mixed fill do. And I think it's because this slow side's a touch faster. It just it's a little more forgiving. It doesn't really grab the board and stick and cause the bag to kick more. It's it's a slide's a little little bit easier than say like that wizard. You know, you you this is very similar to the wizard in the fill and the hand feel of the bag. But it's again, it's that faster, slow side. And so you take away the kick of that wizard, but you still have the playability of it and you play a touch faster. So if that's what you're looking for, I think this Rex is right up your alley here. I will say the hand fill of the bag, I love the way the hand fill is. It really, it, it's got enough fill in here. You can lock the bag down. You get total control over it. It's not overly full. It's not overly floppy. I think it's kind of that that Goldilocks of bags that just right, right down the middle. I, I really do like the way the bag feels and everything. So let's go and jump into playability on this while I'm kind of going down that path here. So for playability, to me, this is a bag better suited for the 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 bag runner, the hole for hole type player who wants to occasionally play a dirty round here or there, or wants to throw a third black, third back blocker here or there. I don't know if this is the best bag for playing a all out dirty style game. Now, if you're a softer thrower, more of a finesse thrower, you can definitely get away from blockers with this. If you're more of a normal to power thrower, I, that's where I think 
this is better for that hole for hole. If you're looking for a dirty style game, that snapper I reviewed to me plays a better dirty style game. Although you can control this down. Like I can throw blockers with this. I just don't have quite as much control. For me to throw a blocker, I've got to really take a lot off my throw and 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 land it softer in there. I just have to do more of a change. I love this bag for running bags and hole for hole, hole for hole. And every now and then, if I land a little short and hit the dead spot and the bag stops short, it becomes a blocker. Or, you know, if if I do throw a little softer, I can make a blocker. But it's it's definitely then plenty collectible because the bag's full enough. It doesn't take much to clip a corner, take it in. So if you do throw a blocker a little off to the other side of the board, it's not hard to come in the middle, clip it, or throw a cut shot, come across and grab it. You can do that as well. So the bag is very collectible, which makes a good blocker if you get on slower boards. And you, and you have the control, you can definitely put blockers up there. The bag, this slow side material is is pretty hole friendly around the hole. Definitely more hole friendly than that, than that wizard slow side, that traditional poly, polypropylene herringbone carpet that we see. To me, that material tends to stick and hang on the hole. This material, I don't really find that. I feel like it dripped in the hole a lot better. It plays more like a faster bag, but you get the consistency of playability with this with a hybrid material you, you know typically hybrid materials play more consistent across all weather conditions all board conditions whereas polyester or even some that's the polypropylene carpet more so poly polyester has a bigger variance of speed ratings through conditions they tend to really slow down when boards get sticky moisture on them from humidity they really tend to grip slow down the polypropylene materials tend to play for me tend to speed up sometimes sometimes they tend to actually get faster as you get more water on the, on the boards they'll play faster these hybrid materials tend to stick pretty consistent to their speed so i think for so far my testing pretty much all conditions is right around that six speed maybe it slows down a hair in some conditions speeds up to touch but really right around that six speed which i like the consistency of that because you don't have to you know if if you play in an area where weather changes throughout the day you, you can play the same bag for the day and have constant change bags to match weather conditions I really like that when you we can get a bag because you get comfortable with it and you can stick with it and not have to make major changes. So I, I really do love the way this material plays on both sides. To me, if I were to tell you, again, if you like the playability of the Wizard, but you want a bag that's a touch faster, you want a bag a little more hole friendly, you want a bag that, that, that but still has that control, you got the Wizard. I think this Rex is what you're looking for. You know, you, it's definitely a bag. You can throw your cuts with it. It has enough movement. It, it, it's, a, it's a rollable bag, floppable bag. You can you can shape shot. So if you've got bags up there, you have ways to get around them besides just going through. Fast size, plenty fast to push through one, two, three bags if you need to go through. Definitely can clean up a lot of mess with that fast size if you need to. So at least made availability. And Nola has a website, nolabags.com. Now, as of the, the recording of this and the, the Rex has not yet been released. I don't know if it's going to be released by the time this video is posted. If it's not, it should be very shortly. So, you, you, you know, just hang tight. I actually reached out and I did go ahead and follow uh, Nola on their social media accounts. I'm sure they'll put a put a, a post up to, to let you know when these bags could be released. Uh, these bags, I forgot to mention, these are ACL stamp for 2024. These have the comp stamp. And again, I don't want to go into too big a detail. These are between comp and pro stamp bags as far as quality of the bags. If you're watching this, you can throw a comp stamp bag in any ACL event, locals, regionals, conferences, opens. You can throw it. The only time you have to have a pro stamp bag is if you're a pro player playing in a pro only event like the pro shootout. Anytime else, anyone else, you can throw a comp stamp bag. No difference in quality. So don't let that bother you it's an acl stamp bag approved for acl play it's like for anytime acl competitive play you can play it in and nola runs their bags i think the prices run it seems to be a pattern of their comp stamp bag 65 dollars pro stamp bags are 70 bucks so i'm gonna, I'm gonna assume his bags will be about 65 dollars it's 10 dollars shipping so it'd be put about 75 dollars shipped to you which is a phenomenal price for an acl stamp bag so if you're on the fence about whether you want to try this or try this bag out or not $75 is not a big investment. I say go get it. I think you're going to love it. If you do get yourself a set, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Whether you agree with me or not, I always love hearing your opinion on these bags. But I really like this bag. The more I've thrown this bag, the more I've fallen in love with it. It's a bag that I'm probably going to kind of keep around because I don't really have a bag this with this hybrid material that plays at this, this faster speed. This is like a perfect bag for me when I just want to run the whole. This is a bag I might in my backpack for a while. And that should tell you something. I don't keep a lot of bags. So if I'm keeping a bag, that should give you an idea of what I think of it. And anyway, uh, I thank you guys so much for support and I thank you for watching.